Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. Today we're going to be reviewing one of my favourite books of the year so far. The Kings of Nowhere is currently a patron exclusive sequel to The Boy Who Steals Houses by C.T. Drews, an author and a book which own my entire heart. They stole it, if you must. Where are my books? I'm obsessed with these books. I'm gonna keep hold of this one for moral support. This is the book that it is a sequel to, by the way. This book was as close as you can get to Unputdownable for a book that was published a few chapters at a time each Friday. It takes place soon after the events of The Boy Who Steals Houses and it's jewel narrated by Avery Liu and Jeremy Delaney, showing Avery's transition from a life of burglary and car theft to a life of homey chaos in this butter yellow house. However, he feels like he's drowning without Sam and is determined to sabotage his time with his new family and get locked up with his brother instead. I was scrolling through the comments I left on each chapter while I was writing this review and it's just an endless monologue of me crying into my keyboard and wishing there was a physical copy to dramatically hold against my heart. Were there metaphorical tears because this book was particularly sad? Not really. They were because a few scenes or lines of dialogue or some internal monologue felt like they were written directly about me. From Jeremy's anxiety spirals to Avery's fear of not being wanted. Drews has this incredible talent for metaphors and capturing abstract emotions and finding the perfect words to describe something that usually feels so indescribable. I want to take a moment to talk about a character who owns my entire heart and played a larger role in this book than the first. Jeremy Delaney. <laughs> Jeremy's character felt like a slow burn in a sense. We were introduced to him in the first book and had an idea of his personality, but his narration added a new perspective, especially as this new side to him unfurls little by little of each chapter. And every single one of those chapters was a personal attack and a stab in my chest. I won't elaborate further because I don't want to lean into spoiler territory, but this boy needs a hug. I made this point in my review for the first book, but it's so overwhelmingly lovely for me to read about good sibling relationships and healthy family dynamics that can still have drama without turning bad. Um, the Delaney's consistently provide hope and moments of light throughout the darkness and still love each other despite the fractures that form. All the Delaney's feel like fully fleshed out characters and have distinct personalities, something that's important to note as there's so many of them. The family has this incredible sense of loyalty and protectiveness to each other and to the people that they decided to keep. I'll conclude this review with a point that drew me back to read the second book in the series. Um, that's the Own Voices Autism representation. The representation is less brutal than it was in this first book. Because we're in Avery's head now, so we can see his entire thought process, even if we don't necessarily understand it. There's still moments where it's disturbing and frustrating, but Avery's support system is such a beacon of hope, and there isn't a moment where anyone tries to fix him or give up on him. I'm sad that this book has come to an end because the chapters being released became the highlight of my week, but I'm so like, proud and in awe of what the author has achieved with this project as someone who's been following their social media and writing journey for longer than I can remember. It was an honour to join that journey, even for a moment, and it was an honour to read a book that dealt with sensitive issues with such care that you can tell this book is part of the author's heart. I think that's all I want to say about this book and I truly hope that anyone watching who loved the first book will subscribe to the Patreon to read the sequel or buy it if a physical copy comes out or just anyone in general will pick up the first book and love these, it's upside down, and love these books with me. So all I'm going to say is thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.